Patrick Starr knew what he was doing when he put this palette together, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impression slash review slash makeup tutorial for you guys. And I will be talking about the MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Starr Spring collaboration. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I look like a wet dog because I'm letting my hair air dry before I go in and start diffusing. Before we get started, I also want to mention Sofield Jewelry. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've gotten some name chains from them before. Recently, I received this necklace here. This is a picture of my boyfriend and I. And in the back, I have it engraved with our date and all that good stuff. And I also got this cute bracelet, the bangle, and it has, it says, Kissed by Ken. And they also have these cute charm bracelets, which I'm not going to wear for the video because it's going to make way too much noise. But I'm going to show you guys, look how cute. You can get them customized with your pictures, as I did with this one and this one. You can get your birthstone. This is not my birthstone, but blue is my favorite color, so... I did that and you can get a lot of like cute things and the pricing for these things I know you probably think that it's like really expensive but it's really really not that bad so I will leave all of their information in the description box below so you guys can go check them out it's in time for Mother's Day and all of graduations all of that good stuff so make sure you guys check them out all of their information will be in the description box below and let's get started um I already have my base on so I already have some concealer foundation powder um and I already did my eyebrows which came out looking a little bit too aggressive for me I feel like I don't know they look really aggressive I'm gonna get started with this baby I've been dying to use this and I recently went on vacation and I was so tempted to take it because I'm like the the colors in this thing is it's beautiful but I didn't take it because I wanted to review it for you guys and I wanted to, to first, like, you know, first impressions. Anyways, this is the Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics collection and this is the spring collection. This collection is called Me So Fleek. I've already opened this, but I didn't swatch anything, I promise. I didn't swatch anything. I just opened it and look at all of the goodies. Um, I also posted it on my Instagram stories when I received it and I was really really hyped. So this is the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be working with. This is the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be working with and it has it has these beautiful shades. I'm really drawn to this blue. I love this matte mauve color here and this like rose gold um, shimmery shade here and then this like hot pink shade. And this palette is called Play With Me. So this is the eyeshadow palette I received in this box. This packaging has me like head over heels like I have to just leave this out on my vanity somewhere because it's to die for but anyways this lipstick is called hey boy hey and it is this plum purple I think this is matte is this matte yes it's a retro matte lipstick and I'm excited to try this I'm gonna try to use everything from his collection for one look this is a powder blush duo and this one is called take me home and this blush color has me like I'm not even a huge blush person but this color right here I'm excited to use that and finally this is a lip glass and this is called Queen P and it is shimmery it has like a blue undertone to it but it is like uh, bright pink and very shimmery. It has a lot of glitter. Um, and this collection launches on April 19th at select MAC store locations or MAC locations. I'm gonna get started with this mauve shade in my crease. It has me a little bit nervous because I usually start with a lighter color than this. Um, but I'm just gonna go for it. Now I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics blending brush. And I am going in with that mauve shade. So I don't have a eye look in mind, which sometimes goes really well. And other times, um, I have to kind of like go back and do something to help it look good. 
because I'm just like all over the place. But I really, 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 really <laughs> like this shade actually because it's so buildable. I'm just gonna go in with this Royal and Lanical brush, and it is the the Zones Shadow br um, brush. Look how cute it is. And I'm gonna go in with no shadow on my brush and just blend this out a little bit more. I'm also gonna go back in with this crease brush from also Royal and Lanical, and I'm gonna build up that mauvey shade all over again. Well, deeper in my crease. I'm gonna put this shade, the rose goldy shade, rose goldy shade, all over my lid, and then I'm gonna either work this blue in towards my outer crease or under like my lower lash line or both. I don't know. So I'm gonna try this shade on its own without any uh, setting spray, and that is just beautiful. Oh my! So I'm just packing this pink shade on because I'm like loving it. This is a perfect. Spring. I know I said it about the mauve color, but this is the perfect pink spring rose gold color. Um, I'm just like in love with it right now, and it's doing so well. Like I'm gonna use Mac Fix Plus because I want to see how much of a difference it'll make. To be honest, it doesn't make too much of a difference, which is a good thing because that means that you don't need to spray Mac Fix. Mac Fix Plus in order for it to work. Patrick Starr knew what he was doing when he put this palette together, guys. Really quickly, I'm just gonna take more of that mauve shade to build up my crease a little bit. Oh, another thing to expect on my channel is more travel vlogs. Since I already have my concealer on, I can go on to working on my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, I'm actually gonna take this Royal and Lingnico shader brush and I'm gonna run some of that mauve shade first under my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush from Go Get Glitter, this one right here, which I really love, and I'm going to take that blue slowly into my lower lash line. Oh, that is pigmented. Okay, I'm scared, but let's do it. All right, I'm going to stop there before I start looking like a raccoon. And I'm just gonna move on to the other eye. Just to simmer down a little bit, just chill out. I'm gonna go back in with this um, shader brush and I'm not gonna take any extra shadow on there. I'm just gonna blend that to mesh the blue and that mauve shade together. I'm just going to do some gel liner in my waterline and I'm going to do mascara and I'm going to be using my Glamour Dolls Lights Out Ultra Black Gel Liner to put that in my waterline and then I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and so I'm going to be right back with you guys. Okay, so I definitely think that the mascara and the liner, I also tight lined a little bit with the gel liner. Um, I definitely think that it brought it together a little bit more. However, I'm still going to go in with, I think I'm going to try the mauve color again um, and darken my outer crease on my lid because I feel like this blue is so dark and I want to balance it out a little bit more. So I'm going to take the same Royal and Lanical Moda, Moda crease brush. That is good enough for the eyes. So now I'm just going to take my highlighter just to highlight my brow bone. I'm actually going to be using my J Cat Beauty You Glow Girl Base Highlighter in Moon and Back. I think I'm fine with my coverage, but I'm just going to go in one more time and make sure I pack a little bit more powder on the box that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. And of course, I'm going to be using my Girlactic Luminous Powder. Luminous Face Powder in Medium, and I'm going to be using my Complexion Brush from Royal and Lanical. And I'm just going to do that. I'm going to be using this Moda brush, Royal and Lanical, of course. This is a blush brush, but I'm going to be using it for a little bit of bronzer. And I'm using this It Cosmetics U Sculpted Palette. I'm going to be using the light and medium contour colors to warm up the face. Now I'm going to use this contour brush from 
the same brands, but I'm gonna be using now the medium contour and a little bit of the deep contour to contour and chisel out my cheekbones a little bit more. And now for the star of the show, as far as the face goes, I'm gonna be using my MAC Cosmetics Patrick Star Blush Duo in Take Me Home. And I'm gonna be using the same blush brush to apply that. I think I'm gonna take a little swirl of both of the blushes. So now I'm just gonna take my J Cat Beauty Makeup Primer Spray in Jasmine, and I'm gonna spray that all over my face before I apply my highlight. Talking. I am going to apply my highlight and I'm actually going to take my Girl Lactic highlight instead of my J Cat Beauty and this one is in Goldie. Mm, look at that. One more spray all over my face. And now I'm just going to set my eyebrows with this Brow Power Pomade by It Cosmetics. I'm gonna do my lips. I'm kind of debating. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I don't like the way this looks. If I would have used more of the blue and of the hot pink shade, then I would have used the lipstick. But I feel like that's a bit much for right now. So I'm gonna take this liquid lipstick by Anise. Anise Beauty, and this is their collaboration with Mercedes Javid. This shade is called MJ. This is one of my favorite shades. So I like that, but I need a little bit more dimension for my lips. And this is the Wet n Wild lip liner in, I think this is in Brandywine, but look how small it is because it's one of my favorite lip liners. And I'm just gonna outline the outer corners a little bit. Okay, so I like that better. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the gloss and see how it looks on top of this. I'm gonna put it in the center of my lips. And again, this lip gloss is Queen P. Queen P. Oh, look at that. I mean, this is a beautiful shade, honestly. But for this look. Yeah, so that's as far as I can go with that lip gloss for this look. I'm going to go and diffuse my hair to kind of bring everything together. And then I will come back with my final thoughts on the collection as well as a final look and uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Okay, so my hair is all diffused. It's still a little bit wet back here, but it is a lot more flowy because I didn't use any gel for the very first time since I started my journey and I like it. It's really, really soft and I like it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the final look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed my first impressions review on the MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star collaboration. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think if you guys want to see me do more videos like this. Also give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up once again. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!